Erin Apple here. I'm with co-director Tommy Yoon. He co-directed uh, Robotech Shadow Chronicles and is also a writer for this new Robotech series. Tell us a little bit about this new Robotech series and its universe. Uh, Robotech Love Live Alive is our newest production. Uh, it continues the story of many characters from the latter part of the original Robotech series. What's the time frame as far as because of the first Robotech series that was in the 80s? Yes. Uh, it was a bit huge hit. I'm a huge fan. Um, is, is this after, or what's the time frame as far as? Immediately after. Robotech is near future speculative science fiction. Uh, the end of the Robotech series occurs in the year 2044. This occurs literally weeks after the original series. And some of the characters um, get uh, involved in both flashback sequences. You get to find out more about their past. And the story also goes into the future. The main character here is Lancer. He's a scene character. Um, he was also somewhat groundbreaking because back in the 80s, um, when we had a cross-dressing character in introduced, of course, it was Yellow Dancer, yeah, right? Yellow Dancer. It was it was for his own personal safety. Uh, there were a lot of questions about it. It was it was banned in one television market in Texas uh, because I guess it was a little bit uh, too extreme for the market. But nowadays, nobody really seems to mind that much, and there's a lot of humor in it. Uh, our most recent uh, release, The Shadow Chronicles, is available on Blu-ray. This will be available both uh, on home video and online. Uh, we also have great relationships with Hulu. Uh, Robotech has been one of the strong performers on online video, so there's many different ways fans can enjoy it. In terms of uh, the way Robotech is distributed, uh, it is really a digital future. Robotech fits very well, as the medium has always changed from VHS to DVD to you know online distribution. Robotech has always uh, been there for the fans, and fans have already always responded very well to it. Well, thank you so much, Tommy Yoon.